what does like for you to to know what someone looks like if they're an axe murderer? What did what would they look like? Usually blonde. Like um, about <laughs> five, three, five, four. Hey! Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize you were nice. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't know that from some of the other acquaintances we hang out with them. We don't. We used to go to Canada a bunch too. We don't anymore. So we go like North Dakota and all the way down to like Texas. Because we and, don't accept them anymore. Yeah, we don't like them anymore. So <laughs> the way I, the way I deal with working with family is don't hold the grudges. You don't sit right. there and and that's that's the way we make it work. Are you good? I'm gonna drive over the snowbank. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is helping. We're stuck. Pick up, you? pitch up a, pitch up a, pick up a, <laughs> pick up a hitchhiker. You never know who you're gonna find. <laughs> Safety first. Second or third. All right. Uh, I am with Chris Breen, and where where are we? Middle of everywhere, South well, Dakota. And, and you just picked me up on the side of the road. Well, it must have took a wrong turn at Estevan or something there. So. <laughs> hey, you know your Saskatchewan <laughs> geography, Moose Jaw. Yeah. <laughs> and your farm is where in South Dakota? It's Seneca, just Seneca, Seneca, South Dakota. Just you got pretty close. It was just just down the road here, so. And a beautiful yard and shop. You gave me the tour yep. the past hour. And of the cattle, too. Yep, you didn't die from boredom yet, so. I have not. You've been a really great guide. <laughs> and it's quite beautiful here. Yeah, don't tell everybody else that, though. <laughs> everybody else will start showing up. Corn and soybeans for the most part. We do some wheat, wheat every once in a while, and sunflowers also. We have a cow calf operation. Uh, we feed out fat cattle. We have a trucking operation. The boys, the brothers, have a, a LLC called Breen Industries. They yeah. fix trucks and trailers and stuff like that. A little bit of everything. So. And how many are there involved in the farm? Uh, there's of the total six kids in the family. Though, there's there's three boys, three girls, and the three boys are all on the farm. So. Yeah, and you are the second oldest. I'd be the second oldest, yeah. But the, the most wisest. Sister. Yep, we'll leave it at that. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first time I met you was this past summer yep. at Baltic for... Yep. Uh, the Hefty Boys. The Hefty field Boys, the, the field day. And uh, you stood out a little bit. Because <laughs> what, what, what was the shirt you were wearing? Wearing my, my good Crystal Gale t shirt, so you remember, right? I had the tuxedo one, that's right. You had the tuxedo. That's right. The year before was when I when I caught, caught Rod Rob off guard there. That was that was when I had the Crystal Gale one. Oh, so. I, I don't think I've seen that one, but what did the tuxedo shirt say? Just nothing. It was just nothing. a nice, nice tuxedo t shirt <laughs> for, for the occasion, so. You dressed up. <laughs> so we have met prior. Yes, to yes this. just so everybody knows we have met previously here. So, And I spoke at uh, the, the field days, and you heckled me from the front row. Of course, yeah, what would you expect to do? <laughs> <laughs> Less? So where are you taking me? It's a secret. It's yeah, a secret. Hitchhikers, you don't tell you hitchhikers where you're taking them. <laughs> so for, for the world, I got the lowdown on... Uh, the hitchhiking experience and uh, this isn't a new new game for you you pick up hitchhikers yeah yeah I even <laughs> tried picking one up the other day just uh, two days ago on the way back from Watertown I asked he wanted to ride I pulled up right next to him and he just kind of had that said, look nope. so he's no I think I'm fine I'm like well I'm going that way and uh, no <laughs> I'll just keep walking so you that was the first time I ever got rejected by a got hitchhiker rejected. Yeah, I had to cope with that for a while. So. <laughs> but what, like, what do you when you pull over? What do you say? Like, do you want to ride, or where are you going, or what's the protocol for picking up a hitchhiker? Hey, you need a ride. You know, that's oh, what yeah. you need to just say. So I just you try to add humor sometimes, or but like you look uh, like you need a ride. <laughs> <laughs> you look cold. Yeah, <laughs> like that. And how many 
hitchhikers have you picked up? I'd say it's probably around a dozen somewhere in there, probably. Dozen. So I know. And have you ever been worried or like I'm? I'm wondering because I think I would be afraid of yeah. getting killed. Yeah, I don't know. There's always that chance, but yeah, you know, it's, it's your day. It's your day. So no, I, I just if they, don't, if they don't look like an axe murderer, I mean, then I I'll pick them up. You know. Yeah. Because what's the odds there being two axe murderers in the same vehicle? So. <laughs> 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 wonder about what does like for you to to know what someone looks like if they're an axe murderer what did what would they look like oh i don't know usually usually blonde like uh, about <laughs> five three five four hey! oh. <laughs> <laughs> i did not bring my backpack with me oh okay <laughs> You got me good. <laughs> you don't know what's underneath the hat, though. I could. Yeah, you kind of look like that Carmen sealed. San Diego look, at, look, going, look going on here. And you were telling me that you've actually picked up a hut, like the same hitchhiker twice. Yeah, yeah. So we have different tribes kind of around us in different areas, and so I picked up the same guy. He was, he goes from tribe to tribe just fixing appliances, and he goes and he stays at their house or whatever so your wash machine broke down yeah. he goes and he he orders the parts and everything else you put them up whatever else he goes to the next house whoever's else's stuff all needs to get fixed and he might spend a week at that tribe or in that town or whatever else there or a month whatever else and he then he gets all the stuff fixed and then he goes off to the next one and wow. he, he does that he says he's been going around south dakota and north dakota and and uh just been doing that for about about 20 some years and when, like, from the first time you picked him up to the second time, the last time, how many, was it months or years? A couple of years. Oh, wow. So the one time I picked him up going west, the other yeah. time I picked him up going east. And, and so I just hauled him all the way over to the other intersection there to make it make it easier, a better chance for him to get picked up by some more traffic. So Unreal. He, so, he remembered me after the last time. He remembered so, you. Well, I guess yeah. if you hitchhike, you, you would remember the people that pull over and lend a hand. So I, my other question is, what, like, why do you stop? Because I always, I always drive by. I, I never picked up anybody. I don't know. You, how many, how many times have you thought in the back of your mind, you know, I can do this, I can do this, but then all of a sudden that, uh, you ain't gonna turn down a little bit of help. And then sometimes all it needs is, is uh, just that little other person to help you out, or you never know who God's gonna send to help you out at a time that when you yeah. most need them. So, you know, just, it doesn't, it ain't taking any time out of your day or anything else there. And you get someone to talk to for a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's, you never know who you're going to find. Sometimes it'll be a, a farmer going to another field, stuff like that. Oh. That's some random ones like that, too. Just, I picked up a, a 85-year-old guy at one time. He was, really? he was trying to, trying to get back over to his pickup. And he said, you know how many people stop? I'm like, really probably, anybody? probably none. 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 Yeah. If you're if your uh, wife, daughter, son, anybody else around you doing that, you know, you sure would appreciate it if someone yes. else helped them too, or you know, you it's just good. So yeah. nice. That's a nice thing to do. So, but I didn't realize you were nice. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't know that from some of the other acquaintances we hang out with. So <laughs> the nicest guy you'll ever meet. So I uh, true <laughs> in, in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and just for everyone to know, I have a black watch. Um, what color is your <laughs> turquoise? <laughs> is that your favorite color? It is actually. Is it? Yep, and that's what color my truck is too. Or I called a semi. You oh, your your a... your semi. Yep. Your semi yeah, is too. is turquoise. It's turquoise also. And, uh, are you wearing a bunny hug? No, no bunny hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I no was toques being, either. <laughs> Tooks. Tooks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were making fun of me last night at an event because I, I said a fair bit. You yeah. know, it's just a fair bit this way. They said that didn't make sense. <laughs> that was that was after a fair bit of, of wine too, probably. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the wine was good. <laughs> Your farm. Yes, we have a farm. Quite diversified. you gotta got to do a little bit of everything to make ends meet so it'd and be what, nice to just be able to do one thing and be done and but that ain't how our our operation really never was that way it started out farming and 
pops started a trucking company back in 79. He drove for the neighbor for a couple of years and then had a bunch of grain he couldn't get sold locally. And <laughs> so, he, so he ended up, he bought a truck and trailer and hauled it over to the cities. And the difference that he made in the price of his grain there paid for the truck. Really? And uh, then he was getting back hauls, hauling stuff back too. So that was just, then he decided he was going to do that on the side too. So we'd farm. So mom would mom would go and uh, she'd do some of the dispatch, mainly dispatching the books and she'd yeah. help farm. She'd feed cattle. She was an old farm girl too. And uh, and so then they, they both helped and everything else too. And then we started getting drivers and and, uh, and it's always grown from there. So. Nice. And uh, what's your role on the farm? Whatever needs to get done. So, yes. So I do I do the dispatching for the trucks, I do the book work for the trucks, I do the, my my book work for my side of the farming, Pops does his own stuff, um, yeah, I do the, the fertilizing, I do the fertilizer and seed recommendations for all of my, Pops does my stuff, Yeah. Um, I do all the spraying, yeah, I do some trucking on the side, so just, whenever I get time, I don't even do much anymore, I used to put on a hundred some thousand a year. A hundred thousand a year? Yeah, anymore I'm lucky if I put on 50 if that, so. 50 is still a lot, so is that across uh, the nation, across U.S. or? In Most, just... Mostly regional, I, wow. we, uh, we kind of stay to the north central, kind of, we don't, we used to go to Canada a bunch too, we don't anymore, so we go to like North Dakota all the way down to like Texas. Because we and, don't accept them anymore. Yeah, we don't anymore, so. <laughs> And uh, go all the way out to Washington, Oregon, down there, and, and uh, well, it ain't bad or whatever. And then we'll, we've been busy hauling propane tanks, trying to, for a lot of guys hauling, or putting up dryers this year, right. so we've been busy hauling propane tanks yeah. everywhere. Um, haul a lot of grain and feeding grease out to Montana, yeah. and Idaho, Utah, West. How do you manage the trucking when it's like during the busy times of harvest and seeding? No, we still do it. We still do it. Is, okay. Hey, I actually, I'll carry my iPad with me, or I can't do everything on my phone. I'll bring a, I got a little laptop I bring along too for stuff that when you need to actually use a keyboard instead of having to, instead of having to type everything on your phone yeah. all the time. But otherwise, a lot of it stuff's phone calls, and then I carry a pair of earbuds oh, yes. in my. Yeah. In my pocket all the time, so yeah, I, me too. you sit there and you just got them. So when you need yeah. them, phone rings, you put them on there, and I've kind of grown the, the trucking part of it to uh, people that we used to deal with back when mom was still around, and then until now, then we went down for a little bit, and then all of a sudden we're kind of taking back off the trucks again. You're doing more stuff, and so I've been dealing with some of the people I used to deal with before, and then a lot of other right. new people, and then. And they like dealing with us because that they know that when they call us up, they they get in a bind, and all of a sudden, like, hey, do you think you can do this? Can you make this work? And pretty please. And uh, yeah, we can fit that in there. And they they a lot of people that appreciate that about us. And then we've been been just swamped with with stuff trucking. I need about hire another guy again. So wow. and so, do you do the books for both the farm side, the cattle side, and the trucking side? Just the trucking side just there, the and then my farming side that Pops does okay. does his side, his right. thing too. So we technically, I have my farm, and then he yeah. has his farm, and we share machinery and got some oh, stuff together okay. and everything yeah. else too. But so I, I have my own my own acres I farm, and he has his own acres too. And then nice. I do all the recommendations of his stuff for all his stuff, and we kind of lump it together like that stuff. Or as it is, you know, we'll go and we'll we'll do some of his fields, and we'll drive mine, and we kind of work it around the way we do our loop and everything right. else. It all gets. It all gets done at the end, but yeah. So. Working with family. Yeah, it's it can be interesting, and but the way I, the way I deal with working with family is you make your phone call and you yeah. you tell them you blankety blankety blank and yeah. and uh, that's done. Yeah. You don't you don't hold the grudges. You don't sit right. there and and that's that's the way we make it work. Well, every family's so different, and that's for you guys and yeah it's really good yeah I don't know it works we make it we make it all work out and everything else it ain't the, it ain't too bad it, yeah. it could be a lot worse so and what is your most favorite part of farming I don't know I, I enjoy a little bit of everything actually yeah. the best part is always probably combine just because you get to see the 
see how much, uh, how, how everything did, you know, but right. other than that, you know, it's, it's always fun going out there in the spring and, and, uh, and seeing everything to it ever, you get that itch to get out there in the field and get rolling on everything and, and then, uh, I don't know, it's, there's some days just kind of monotonous and everything else too, and there's always days where it's, you wish you had more of your stuff done, but you don't right. want to. I don't know, is what it is. It, I just, I just, uh. Is that a grain bin bar? Oh yeah, yeah, it's oh, a grain bin bar, so. I, my friend has one. How cool is this? <laughs> yeah, it's a little fun. So, uh, is it a roadside alcohol stand or <laughs> what do well, they have? Well, when he opens it up in the summer, he has, uh. Food in there too? He has, uh, in the restaurant here, he'll have, uh, have concerts and stuff outside oh, here. Oh, fun! That's the steakhouse here. And uh, they actually used to go and they'll open up that little door there in that wall. They open that all up and then they oh. set the stage up here. They got camping spots and stuff here too, so. So how far are we from your house? Oh, back that way. It's we, back that way, yeah. We'll go back that way. I was just gonna... It was easier driving straight from the time. <laughs> <laughs> and you wave... You do a, and you wave at everybody. I wave at everybody. I wave in the dark. Really? And so, do you know waving. the people that you're waving to? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, no. So, oh yeah, no. It's but nice. you do the. Is it oh, two? Yeah. You, I do you, one. One? Yeah. We need to use the other one. We use the other one. So. <laughs> Everyone knows it's me because. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. what town? So what yeah, town are we in? We'll stop in here. We'll get you a bite here. Ooh. We're gonna go to the Burger Shack. The Shack of Burgers. <laughs> We can take <laughs>
just get you stopped if you have to. So, yep, you can push all the way up forward into the F and just let it sit there. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Give her a little gas there, pull that throttle up a little bit. Yeah, you're good. I'm gonna drive over the snowbank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh. got your tunes on for you, it sounds like. So you can go drive around here, so see, you're good. Nothing to it. This is this is my speed. <laughs> well, we got people stuck in the ditch here too. Looks like all kinds of fun. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh. Yeah, there is. Oh, there, yeah. We might get to be a good Samaritan here yet, so. So the roads aren't very good. And, uh, Chris is helping. We're stuck. Putting the chain back. So much for that. Did it break? His little one broke, but but uh, no, it just needs to come back. I don't need to come. It's got so much force. Right there, there, got to go in. Got to go in. Uh, he already had a record called. He said, anyways, these guys are just gonna see if they get them pulled. And it just uh, just slimy enough that he can't can't do anything. So. So I guess he's got the, got the wrecker coming anyways, he said, so. Who's the wrecker? A uh, local guy over here in Gettysburg, so. Oh, okay. Oh, you call him a wreck? You call him a wrecker? Like the tow truck? Tow truck, yeah. You call him a wrecker. Okay. Yeah, wrecker, tow truck, yeah. Oh. Well, thank you, Chris. Yeah, no problem. This has been a slice, and thank you for dinner. Yeah. Thank you for, uh, yeah, picking me up, hitching a ride. You betcha. You betcha. <laughs> and for all those uh, who are watching, we hope you tune in next time to Riding in Cabs with My, the Codians. Pick up, pitch up a, pitch up a, pick up a, <laughs> pick up a hitchhiker. You never know who you're going to find. <laughs>